Hello students, today is agenda is to check homework. We're going to be working on algebraic phrases and you will be able to work on page two. Today students will be able to derive or write, which is the same thing, algebraic expressions given a verbal phrase. Okay, so let's start with the four arithmetic arithmetic operations um, and how they might be represented in words, okay? So anytime you see addition, cuando vemos suma, this will be the symbol, and the phrases are the sum of, la suma de, plus, quiere decir más, added to, quiere decir agregado a, y como es agregado a algo, eh, entonces tenemos lo que venga acá, agregado a algo, added to something. We're going to put that something first and then whatever is added at the end. Okay, so we change the order. And I'll give you an example in a minute. More than. More than, um, que decir, más que, but it's also changing the order. Okay, so aquí también vamos a cambiar en el orden. So anytime you see these asterisks, is because you're going to change the order. These two, you change the order. Okay, the next one is subtraction. And so for subtraction, the symbol is this, a dash, and you have less than, which is similar than more than, right? Except that you're subtracting now. You also change the order in here. You have minus, subtracted from, you also change the order, okay? So uh, remember, you can take note of this and put an asterisk and put the little note. It's because you have to change the order for those. The subtraction of, the difference. So all of these, is, these are minus. The only ones that you change the order are the ones for asterisk. So los únicos que van a cambiar el orden, okay, you switch them. Solo si tienen el asterisco, okay? Okay, the next one is, oh, brother. Okay, sorry about this. Um, this was supposed to go here. Multiplication. Okay, so, sorry about that. So, for multiplication, you have parentheses, it means multiplication. Sometimes you have the asterisk, it means multiplication. Uh, the symbol of times, which is multiplication. And you have a, a dot in the middle of the numbers. Not lower like the decimal. So, not like 5.2, but rather 5 times 2. That's also multiplication. Okay, so decimal, multiplicación. So those are the symbols, and some of the words that you will encounter are double, triple, quiere decir lo doble, lo triple, that's you're multiplying by two or multiplying by three, okay? The product of, el producto de, it's also multiplication. The multiplication of, okay, you're multiplying. Multiplied by, it's also multiplication. Twice, quiere decir uh, lo doble también, um, three times, five times, so it means three times something, lo están multiplicando, and then times alone. Okay, so all of these refer to multiplying. The next one, some of the symbols are this right here, uh, also something like this, and I know in some countries it's backwards, okay, that's also division. And when you have a fraction, n divided by d, that's also, anytime you see a fraction, that's division. So, the vocabulary words will be the quotient of, okay, this is one of the, the ones that people tend to forget. El cociente de, es, that's division, es es división, okay. The division of, divided by, the Third, uh, fourth of, the sixth of, the ninth of, that means that you're dividing by nine, you're dividing by six, you're dividing, okay? So whenever you see, that's like fraction form as well. 
over, that's another word, and all over. Also division, but everything is being divided by whatever goes in here. Okay, so now that you have the general, um, you might want to copy it first so that you can have it on the side and so that you can follow um, in a easier manner. Okay, so let's do some examples. Let me see if I can fit um, some of this next to it. Hopefully it doesn't look too small. Okay, so note the phrase a number refers to any variable since there is no specified number or value. And it can be any, any variable, meaning it can be x, y, z, w, p, n, q, k. So it doesn't matter what variable you use, you can use any of them. Usually, um, they tend to use x and y more often than not, but, but you can use any one. So let's translate the following verbal phrases into expressions. The, num the first one says, a number plus 20. You can see that plus doesn't change the order, so it's just a number plus 20. A number plus 20. So that's how the expression will look algebraically. The subtraction of 10 and a number. So subtraction doesn't have an asterisk, so we don't change the order. So the subtraction of 10 and a number. Let me use W in here. The next one says the quotient Huh, what is that? The quotient, well, is that one that we tend to forget? The quotient, it does not change the order. So it's the quotient of a number and negative seven. So this one can be written, usually I see people writing it like this. Let me reuse a different. Um, so K and negative seven. But it can also be written as k divided by 7. Okay, you, should, you will usually not see, in algebraic expressions, you won't see this as much. These are more common. Uh, uh, the next one is 5 less than a number. So, less than, ooh, that has an asterisk. We have to change the order. So, look how, look how I write it. 5 less than a number. So I went backwards. This goes at the end. A number goes at the beginning. So you switch the order or you change them. Okay? So that's the the word than. I, I tell students the word than, remember that is that's when you swap them. Okay, the next one says the product... Okay, product, we go to the list and we see that it's multiplication. The product of three and a number. So the product of three and a number. Let me see, I'm gonna use A now. So this can be written as three times A or just three A, okay? Or you can write with the asterisk 3a or you can write 3a, 3 times a. So 3 times a, 3a, 3 times a, 3 times a. It's all the same. Okay, so you can write it anywhere, any way you want it. The next one says a number plus 2 cubed minus 5 all over 6. Whoa, okay. So, plus, it doesn't change order, minus, it doesn't change order, and all over, all over means everything divided by, okay? So, nothing changes the order, we're just going to be writing it, so it says a number, I'll use B, plus 2 cubed, 2 
cubed means to the third power and you learned about exponents in module G minus 5 and then it says all over 6 that means everything in here divided by 6 all over over que decir sobre todo sobre 6 sobre 6 okay the next one says the sixth of a number. That means a number multiplied times six. So it can be a sixth of a number. Or you can also write that number divided by six. Okay, so either way is correct. A six, una sexta parte de un número. The next one says a number more than nine. Oh, there it is again. The word than, we go here and it says more than, we have the asterisk, change the order. So that means a number, mm, I'll use F, a number more than means plus. So notice how when I have the more than or less than, I just kind of walk backwards a number more than nine okay so again if you see more than you know that it's plus but then you change the order the nine goes first the number goes second um almost finished so twice a number plus two twice remember that i share with you where is it right here means multiply by two okay so twice a number so two t plus two twice a number twice a number plus two so that's how it's going to look the last one a number subtracted from another number so when it says another number that means that they are not the same number and let's go to subtract from subtracted from you change the order okay um, so let's see what two letters let's say a number subtracted from another number so this refers to M and this refers to N okay and this is subtracted from this one okay m is subtracted from n okay so with this you're able to complete the next assignment which is page two and i hope you have fun you can pause the video now if you want to take note bye bye